Welcome back guys to the ChemDraw tutorial series. In this video we are going to learn about predicting the NMR of chemical compounds in ChemDraw and then there are different options where you can write a name and ChemDraw will draw the structure for you or you draw a structure and ChemDraw will help you writing its IUPAC name. And then we can also draw arrows and make beautiful reactions in ChemDraw. We'll try to explore all of these options in today's tutorial. So first of all, I want to predict the NMR of this compound, for example. I'll, I'm just making a copy to keep the original ones isolated. So this is a compound for which we want to get the NMR data. So we can predict both hydrogen NMR and the carbon-13 NMR for this. So we'll select the compound, go to structure, and go to predict hydrogen NMR shifts. So now if we click that button, we have predicted the proton NMR for this compound. So it will also give you an estimate, like what is the quality of the estimate? Is it good, medium, or rough? In different colors so you can see that it is actually good quality prediction and oops I can probably move the structures but um, I have to zoom in so I'll zoom in a little bit and then you can see that uh, if you hover your mouse pointer on um, an NMR shift chemical shift you will see that um, down here the the peaks which relate to that uh, value, they get highlighted. So you can see that this carbon's chemical shift is appearing here, and then if you select this one, you can see that's 1.30, and then this one, that one, and this OH, and this OH, and that uh, hydrogen on the double bond. So you can also see all the details down here the chemical shift plus increment values and then which uh, atoms are associated with it. So that's about predicting the hydrogen NMR of the compound. So that's a pretty cool thing. If you have a, an unknown compound still, you can get uh, good predictions. So remember that this is not a quantum chemical calculation of the NMR and it may differ from your experimental NMR results. But this is just a a good estimate I mean it's a statistical estimate of a lot of similar compounds so it's still very good prediction and it the values will be closer to the really observed values so we can close this I don't want to save the NMR data all right and we are back on the same window where we started so the next thing is how to determine the carbon NMR so again, we select the compound, go to structure, predict C13 NMR shifts. And now we have, we can see that these are the C13 NMR shifts. Similarly, you go to a peak and it will show you which uh, carbon it belongs to. So see, you can see all the carbons and where they're appearing. And, and the estimation here is good as well. It's a small compound, so it is um, usually good if you have usual compounds, not unusual structures or radicals, then the NMR prediction is pretty good in ChemDraw. We'll close it again. And then there is another option in the structures. Convert name to structure or convert structure to name. So first we'll do convert structure to name because we have already selected a structure. If we click convert structure to name, oops, look that's the IUPAC name of this compound which ChemDraw has given us. So similarly if we want a structure a name to be converted to structure we can go to structure convert name to structure and right here for example we'll go with one methylphenol let's see how it goes. And if we print it Oops, what is it saying? One methyl phenol caution valence appears to be exceeded. Oops, yes. So I don't think we can create one methyl phenol 
because the valence of this carbon uh, is invalid now. So I'll delete it. We'll probably go to structure again. Convert name to structure and we can see 3 methylphenol. Now look, it is it has drawn 3 methylphenol. Similarly, if I go and write um, acetic acid, does it draw it? Yes. So it's pretty good at drawing, converting the names to structures or converting the structures to names. So you can um, draw a structure and if you don't know the name, you can ask him draw. It can help you with that. So I'll just move these things here on the side <coughs> and I'll show you how we can model a simple chemical reaction. For example, I want to write a reaction like uh, HCl plus NaOH and it gives us, I'll make a copy of it. <coughs> Sorry. So I'll make, oops. NaCl plus H2O. And we can select this two and go to this subscript and and now we'll align these first. So I'll select this one and then this one. Object, align, top edges. Now it is aligned. And we can draw a beautiful arrow in between as well. So here are some arrows. So you can choose whatever you like. I'll keep this one and I'll just draw it here. Click, drag. There you go. So we have written this beautiful reaction in ChemDraw with which you can also uh, define like bigger reactions in the organic reaction. This is a pretty simple inorganic reaction. So you can model any kind of reaction in ChemDraw. And I can show you one other thing. For example, even this structure we make this OH2, OH2, and then we want to um, we want to show that this is a leaving group, and it it is leaving from this position, and we want to draw an arrow for that. We can draw <coughs> probably I'll select this one. So the electrons move back to the oxygen we can draw this arrow and then we can draw another arrow to show what is formed in this reaction so I'll copy this you can see you don't need to write everything down again and again and I'll simply delete this so now you have uh, removed a water molecule from this this compound. It's not a, a reaction, I'm just showing you as an example. I mean, you can do anything uh, with, the, with the structures. You can draw arrows and you can model different reactions in ChemDraw. So that was about drawing um, arrows and modeling reactions. Like, and also if you want to, this arrow to appear differently, you can select it, go to curves, and then you can put a full arrow at the end as well. If you want to put half arrow at start left, you can make it half arrow. Half arrow at end right. You can draw half arrow on the other side as well. And you can do a lot of things with this uh, arrow. And then you can make it dashed arrow, not plain arrow. You can make it bold arrow. We make it again plain. We make full arrow at start. And that's a normal arrow. So you select the arrow, you go to curves, and you have different arrow options which you can apply to this arrow. So that was about modeling different reactions and converting structures to names.
getting any more of the compounds in chem draw and that's all about today's tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos and i hope i will finish chem draw in one or two more tutorials then we'll move on to some next um, very good software so good luck and bye bye